Hello and welcome back to another video on the Rugby Channel and today is another episode of 5 Kit Friday. Now if you're new to the channel or you haven't already seen 5 Kit Friday videos, basically we look at every single nation in the Rugby Union world all the way up to the Rugby World Cup and we analyse their logos and kits. Now we've had some real terrible kits so far and we've also had some really nice ones, especially in the last episode. So today we're going to be looking at 5 more ones. And yeah, just analyze them and see which ones are best. So without further ado, let's get in the video. Okay, so in our teams today, we have Luxembourg, Jamaica, Chinese Taipei, or Taipei, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm afraid, Israel, and Venezuela. Now, just like I say in every single 5 Kit Friday video, please ignore the ranking system that these teams are in. The rankings were taken at the start of the year, so it no longer make any sense. So just ignore that please and just focus on the actual teams. So let's move into our first team. Okay, so first up we have Luxembourg, and I've got to admit Luxembourg's kit looks absolutely stunning. The colours going all into it and the, also the logo being enlarged into the kit, I just think it looks amazing. I would happily buy this myself if literally if I saw this in a store and I knew it was Luxembourg's kit, I, I would probably buy it. I mean, it looks really, really nice. I'll tell you what Luxembourg, if you ever reach a Rugby World Cup, I will buy your kit. Okay, that is a 100% promise. Anyway, the logo I really like as well. It's simple but and not complicated. And yeah, it looks professional and the colour system is really cool. And yeah, we yet again, we've kicked a 5 Kit Friday video off with a great start. So let's move into next kit. Okay, so next up we have Jamaica. And Jamaica's kit looks actually quite interesting. Uh, the logo I'm not really a fan of. It looks more of a company logo. Yes, it obviously says, obviously says Rugby Football Union, but I think they could scrap the writing and just have the crocodile logo over it. I mean, it would look so much better. Uh, but the kit, uh, it doesn't really look like a rugby kit. I mean, the shape of it and stuff, it looks more like a darts kit or some sort of bowling or something like that. I mean, it is nice, don't get me wrong, but the fitting and everything on it, it just doesn't look like a rugby kit. But otherwise, it looks nice. The, uh, the traditional Jamaican flag there with a sponsor in the middle and also an official brand that makes the kit for them. So it looks professional. It looks good. Uh, as I said, the only things I would change is the shape of the kit and remove the writing from the logo. Otherwise, it's nice. So yeah, Jamaica Rugby Union, please go ahead and do that because I think it will improve it personally. Okay, so next up we have Chinese Taipei, or Taipei, as I said, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, their logo is quite interesting, obviously it's in Chinese, and their kit looks unfortunately quite standard in the rugby world. Uh, they haven't got a sponsor at all, I mean yes, they have a brand that actually makes their kit, but otherwise it looks very, very basic. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of effort went into it, and the logo looks okay, as I said, but I'm not really a fan. It's probably the lesser good ones we've had. It's quite standard. I mean, as I've said, we've had some really, really bad kits. This isn't necessarily a bad kit. It just, it just doesn't, like, appeal to a lot of people. Like, if you're a fan, you're not really going to buy it. There's not much on it for you besides the logo. Otherwise, it's just a standard basic kit. But otherwise, yeah. Let's move into our next team. So next up we have Israel. Now Israel's kit uh, looks kind of similar to Chinese Taipei. Uh, it's very standard. It's just the plain blue. No sponsor I'm afraid. Bit of white going along the top. Yes it has a brand that actually makes the top. And it has their logo on it. But otherwise it's quite basic. Uh, I mean the colour scheme looks okay. The logo I'm not a fan of. It looks very similar to company logos again. I'm pretty sure there's an Australian television company that has that sort of logo as well. I don't know the name. I, I've just seen it on videos I've seen on YouTube. But yeah, I mean, personally, I'm not a fan of this one. This is probably one of our lesser good ones as well. Uh, it's a shame. We've started the video off so well and we've gone into standard ones. So next up we have Venezuela and hopefully, hopefully their kit will be nice. So let's go ahead and have a look at them. Okay, so Venezuela. Well, I mean... It wasn't as good as Luxembourg's one, 
Jaffa or Jamaica, but at least it's better than the last two we've looked at. The logo looks quite decent, it's a uh, flower I'm guessing, and yeah the kit looks professional as well, and it's capturing the Venezuelan sort of look to it. There's a nice shade of dark red in it with blue shorts with the logo. No sponsor I don't think, I can't really make out on this picture that there's a sponsor there. But hey, at least, you, like, as long as the kit's good, you don't necessarily need a sponsor. I mean, they have a brand as well that makes the top. The logo looks professional. It doesn't look basic or too complicated. It looks like an actual rugby logo. And yeah, we finished this video on a high. So, yeah, without further ado, that is going to be the end of today's video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed. And comment, let me know what you think is your favorite kit. Uh, it's been great fun doing these videos and yeah hopefully you guys are looking forward to every single friday where we upload these videos if you're new to the channel or you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe uh the community of this channel is growing so much we're getting a good fan base going and yeah we just want to make a nice fun rugby channel for all of you guys so please go ahead and subscribe now if you haven't already and yeah like the video comment subscribe I've been Andrew, and I will see you in next week's upload. Peace.